And that's the end of our four night break at Pontins at Sand Bay, just outside Western Supermare. We've had a lovely time. We've actually had um, three midweek days, very pleasant, very enjoyable. We had a, a good drive down on Monday, and now we're driving back to Suffolk. The only comments we've got on the on the on the actual place, it's really nice. It's uh, been updated, which is what uh, Britannia and uh, Pontins do with their places now. They gradually seem to update them, redecorate them. The the chalet that we're in is really very nicely done. It's it's clean, it's bright, it all feels fresh. It's very nice. There's one issue with the uh, with the chalet itself that I think maybe Pontin should think about addressing. This one doesn't have a shower, it's got a bath, and so if you'd rather have a shower, as many older people do, um, you have to get one of those silly nozzle jobs that you actually hook up to the um, hot and cold tap, and then you spend about an hour and a half, <laughs> not really, but then you spend some considerable time trying to get the water to the right temperature. It's a pain in the neck. Please install some proper showers. Um, the other thing, that we thought we'd mention. The food is exceptionally good. It's really nice, freshly cooked, it's very tasty, very good. Out of the four dinners we've had, there was only one that even counted as average. The rest, for a place like this, were excellent. Um, the only thing that was a drawback with the food was the servery. Uh, at peak times, there were big queues because the uh, dining room is pretty large and it only had two self-service servers, so you built up some quite impressive queues. At one point, I think I counted about 25 or nearly 30 people um, queuing up to get their evening meal, which is a little bit kind of annoying, really. And if you're standing right at the back of the queue <laughs> looking ahead when they run out of something uh, on the servery, then it can be really quite annoying because you then have five minutes to wait while the guy goes and gets some more, blah, blah. So maybe addressing peak time servery issues will be a nice thing for Pontins to consider doing. One of the best features of this visit was actually the entertainment on site in the evenings. We went to three of the four nights and we heard the fourth night. Uh, the entertainment was really good. And I must say that at Pontins, Pontins, please take note, your entertainment team here at Sand Bay, we thought they were exceptional. The, the blue coats were absolutely terrific. They put on a show of some, in some part of every evening and it was really excellent and enjoyable. The acts were great as well. We really had a good time in the evenings. Brilliant place. Sandy Bay is really lovely. It's quiet and nice out of season and I shouldn't imagine it gets much busier in peak season, honestly, because it's it's fairly wild, it's pretty deserted. Uh, other interesting places within easy reach. Yesterday we went to a couple of little towns up the coast, which is Portishead and Clevedon. We went down to Minehead, we went to Watch It. We've been all over the place and we also went to Cheddar and its famous gorge. And all of those places, really nice, interesting, pleasant visits for this time of year, July 2016. See you again.